Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Tuesday, September 18th, 2018. Let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Since this is a family program, we try to keep it rated PG. But that doesn't mean we can't show you a clip of Guy Cisternino giving a giant F you to his haters and internet trolls. Last week, Quadra went live on the record to let the Cheeto-fingered keyboard tough guys out there know that he is in fact coming back to compete on an IFBB Pro stage once again once he's fully recovered from his double shoulder surgery. Even if you're not a fan of his physique, if you're a bodybuilding nerd you should still be a fan of the way he conducts his business because this dude is truly one of a kind. And I can promise you all that whenever he's back up to par again, that he'll be coming with even more of an FU attitude just to prove to everyone that the old veteran still ain't quite done yet. I know this doesn't make a whole lot of sense on paper because I was a short skinny white kid, but there was a point there growing up when I seriously thought I could be Hakeem Olajuwon if I practiced my dream shake enough. But since, for some weird reason, my dream to be a starting center in the NBA just didn't work out, I guess I'll just have to settle for having Akeem Williams on speed dial. Over the Olympia weekend, the Brooklyn Beast was back at it doing what he does best, which apparently meant putting on some of those all-you-can-eat buffet carbs to good use. And now that he's both literally and figuratively gotten another taste of what the Olympia weekend is all about, I'd be willing to bet that he finds a way to make it back here as a competitor one way or another in 2019. You know the old saying, once is a coincidence, twice is a pattern, and three times is a trend. Well, I'm starting to notice a weird trend that I really don't have an explanation for what's going on in our current and past Olympia champs. By now you probably know that Latoria Watts didn't compete in the Olympia for some unspecified health reason, which makes her the sixth current or former champ to step out of the biggest show of the season in the last few years. Listen to these names, Latoria Watts, Juliana Malacarney, Flex Lewis, Courtney King, Ashley Kaltwasser, and Oksana Krishina. Count them up, six of the biggest names in the last three or four years who decided to bow out, although Ashley came back this year. What does it all mean? Who really knows for sure? But the outcome is certainly that we're seeing a changing of the guard. According to a Muscle in the Morning report brought to you by the good people of Google, there are only three white rhinos left in the world. So maybe now that Justin Compton reappeared out of hiding, we can get one of those Jurassic Park scientists to get a sample of his DNA so we can keep the species going for another few years. Late last week, bodybuilding's version of Half Man Half Amazing was spotted looking happy and healthy as he cranked out a few reps during a chest workout. I know his decision to step away from the stage drew some criticism from a bunch of nobodies who just can't keep their Twitter fingers to themselves, but I applaud Justin for stepping up to the plate to do what's best for him and his future. And when I see young guys like this out there actually making good decisions and being role models for the next generation, it gives me hope that the industry as a whole is still moving in the right direction. At one point Saturday night, Chris Aceto managed to suck me into a conversation about the T-Mobile and Sprint merger that happened last week before I ended up tuning him out after about 30 seconds. But I'll tell you what, I wouldn't mind investing a few dollars into some Kevin Jordan stock next season. The protein poppy has been looking uncharacteristically sharp in his off-season updates which makes me think that he's tackling some things from a different angle right now. KJ is one of those guys who's right on the verge of bumping himself up into that next tier of really high level talent. So if he can put together a solid four or five month run, things could get interesting once he's ready to roll next spring. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passions make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.